clothes. We buy them, wear them, and wash them constantly. Did you know that 100 billion items of clothing are produced every year? That is nearly 14 new items for every person on the planet annually. Imagine if everyone tried to store all of that clothing. Eventually, we'd run out of space. In an attempt to lower the demand for new fashion, many climate activists are encouraging people to buy secondhand clothing instead of new. However, what is the climate impact of secondhand fashion? According to the UN, the fashion industry is responsible for 10% of global carbon emissions. To put this into perspective, that is more than international flights and shipping combined. When we think about reducing our climate impact as individuals, is changing the way that we consume fashion something that comes to mind? But what is the history of fast fashion? Variety is the key to dressing in the 90s. In the 1990s, lots of European and American companies decided to outsource their manufacturing to low-wage countries in Asia. This is why fast fashion can be so cheap. But fashion production has just increased over the years. In 1995, 7.6 kilograms of fibres per person were produced each year. And in 2018, that figure has jumped to 13.8 kilograms of fibres per person. So what is the impact of fashion production? Research shows that 75% of energy demand in a garment's life cycle occurs before the retail stage and in the production process. This means if more new clothing is purchased, then more energy is required to meet the demand. As a result, if every time you needed a new t-shirt, the energy and carbon emissions required to manufacture it would start here at step one fibre production. This stage uses the most energy. However, if you purchase a t-shirt secondhand, it's likely your garment would only use the energy required from the latter half of the life cycle stages. Secondhand fashion does not consume further energy required to produce and ship new items, and therefore it does not produce further carbon emissions associated with the manufacturing process. The Maestro Future Fashion Report found that if you use each garment twice as many times before disposal, 49% of the carbon emissions are mitigated. Rather than adding more clothes with more impact into the world, we can reduce the impact of the clothing that already exists. There is a large surplus of secondhand clothing on our planet, so it makes sense to use this resource rather than expecting more and more fashion to be produced. But how many times do we really need to wear our clothing before it reduces its impact on the climate? This graph shows that over time, the more you use an item of clothing, the less its impact has on the environment. But what does 90 uses look like realistically? Let's use this t-shirt as an example. If you were to keep this t-shirt for three years and wear it 30 times a year, then over its lifetime, you would wear it 90 times. Or let's say this is your favorite t-shirt, wearing it just under twice a week for a year would help you to reach the 90 uses. But of course, it's worth remembering that if you bought something secondhand, the previous owner may have already worn that item 30 times. So by you purchasing it secondhand and re-wearing it again and again, you are continuously decreasing that item's impact on the environment. So maybe the message behind all of this is that we should be using what we already have rather than buying new things. Climate illustrator Sarah Lazarovich emphasizes the importance of using what you have in her widely recognized Biorarchy of Needs image. Thrifting, also known as buying secondhand, is fourth on the hierarchy. However, prolonging the life of clothing decreases its environmental impact in all areas except laundry. Washing, drying, and ironing your clothing takes up the same amount of energy regardless of whether you bought the clothing new or secondhand. So how can we mitigate this? As we definitely want to wash our clothes. Studies have shown that washing at lower temperatures such as 30 degrees, eliminating tumble drying and ironing, and replacing older washing machines for more energy efficient models are all ways we can help to reduce environmental impact through washing our clothing. So, is buying secondhand fashion better for the planet? Well, it is better than buying fashion new, but if you're trying to lower your environmental impact further, Looking after what you already own and wearing your clothes again and again are the best way to reduce your impact on the environment. The most sustainable fashion you can use is what's in your wardrobe.